Morocco, tucked at the crossroads of Europe and Africa, offers a unique blend of cultures drawing from Berber, Arab, French, and Spanish influences. Stay tuned as Viewcation presents the best things to do in Morocco. Marrakesh Medina the Marrakesh Medina, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is the historic heart of Marrakesh. It's famous for its labyrinthine streets, traditional souks, and the bustling Jema al Fana Square, where storytellers, musicians, and performers enchant visitors. The Medina is also home to several historic landmarks, including the Kotobia Mosque, the Bahia Palace, and the Saadian Tombs, each showcasing unique architectural features. Moreover, the Medina offers a sensory adventure with its vibrant colors, aromatic spices, and local chatter. Exploring the Marrakesh Medina gives visitors a glimpse into the everyday life of Moroccans, where traditional craftwork, commerce, and culture intertwine. From here, you can venture into the modern part of Marrakesh, known as Gwelis, which offers a contrast to the old city. Chefchaouen Chefchaouen, also known as the Blue City, is a city in the Reef Mountains of northwest Morocco. It's known for its blue painted streets and buildings, a tradition originating from the city's former Jewish population. This city offers a tranquil and cooling contrast to the busy life of Morocco's other cities. Besides its distinctive color, Chefchaouen is known for its preserved Andalusian architecture, relaxed pace of life, and breathtaking surrounding landscapes, making it a perfect spot for hikers and nature enthusiasts. The city also hosts an annual music festival, celebrating the diversity of Morocco's musical traditions, further enhancing its cultural appeal. Jardin Majorelle Located in Marrakesh, Jardin Majorelle is a two-and-a-half-acre botanical garden created by French painter Jacques Majorelle. Over 40 years of dedication were put into this soothing retreat, which houses exotic plants from around the world. The garden also features a vibrant blue villa, known as the Blue Villa or Villa Majorelle, a stunning piece of architecture that is as much an attraction as the gardens themselves. The garden, once owned by fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent, is home to the Berber Museum, showcasing an extensive collection of Berber objects that reveal the richness of this culture. It's an oasis of charm, and its distinctive features make it an inspiring place for nature and art lovers alike. The Atlas Mountains The Atlas Mountains stretch through Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. In Morocco, they're home to several Berber villages where traditional lifestyles are still maintained. Trekking through the mountains provides visitors an opportunity to encounter these communities and learn about their way of life. The mountains are a popular destination for outdoor activities like hiking, climbing, and birdwatching. They offer breathtaking landscapes, including snowy peaks, lush valleys, and serene lakes. Toubkal, the highest peak in North Africa, is located here and is a sought-after challenge for many climbers. Fez Medina Fez, one of the imperial cities of Morocco, houses one of the world's largest urban pedestrian zones, the Fez Medina. The Medina is an ancient city that transports visitors back in time, with its old-world architecture, historic schools, and centuries-old tanneries. The University of al Qarayin, believed to be the world's oldest university, is located here. The Medina also hosts the annual Fez Festival of World Sacred Music, which brings together musicians from around the world, reflecting the city's historic role as a hub of cultural exchange. Essaouira Essaouira is a coastal city on Morocco's Atlantic coast known for its well-preserved 18th-century seaport, marked by its fortified walls. These walls, designed by a French architect, offer stunning views of the Atlantic and the city. The Medina of Essaouira, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is home to many small arts and crafts businesses, particularly cabinet-making and tuya wood carving. It's also known for its annual Nawa Music Festival, which attracts musicians, artists, and visitors from around the globe. With its sandy beaches and strong winds, the city has become a notable location for windsurfing and kitesurfing. Seafood lovers will love the city, as it's known for its fresh and locally sourced seafood dishes. Merzouga and the Sahara Desert 
Merzouga, a small village in southeastern Morocco, is known as the gateway to Erg Chebi, a massive stretch of sand dunes in the Sahara. This is one of the most popular destinations in Morocco for desert tours. Visitors can experience a camel track and enjoy a night under the stars in a desert camp. The Sahara offers visitors a chance to witness the desert lifestyle of the Berbers. It's also a great location for stargazing due to its minimal light pollution. Watching the sunrise or sunset over the dunes is truly awe-inspiring. Casablanca Casablanca, Morocco's largest city, is a modern city with a blend of Moorish style and European art deco. It's a major cultural hub known for its music and film festivals. It's home to Morocco's primary international airport, making it a common first stop for many tourists. The city's most famous landmark is the Hassan II Mosque, one of the biggest mosques in the world. It features intricate designs, handcrafted marble pieces, and a towering minaret that dominates the city's skyline. Casablanca is also known for its vibrant nightlife and diverse food scene, making it a haven for foodies. Ait Ben Hadou Ait Ben Hadou is an Igrim fortified village along the former trade route that stretches between the Sahara and Marrakesh. This UNESCO World Heritage Site offers a glimpse into the past with its earth and clay architecture, which gives the village a unique aesthetic. The structures are a brilliant example of Moroccan architectural style. Many movies and TV series, including Game of Thrones and Gladiator, have been filmed here owing to its picturesque setting. Despite the village now being largely deserted and replaced by a new village across the river, a few families still live here, providing a sense of life in this historic place. Dades Valley and Tadra Gorge The Dades Valley, or the Valley of Roses, stretches between the Jebel Sarro and High Atlas mountain ranges. It's home to lush palm groves and ancient kasbahs. Every May, the valley hosts a rose festival celebrating the year's harvest. Not far from there is the Tadra Gorge, a canyon noted for its impressive rock formations. The gorge is popular among rock climbers due to its high cliffs. Both the valley and gorge offer excellent opportunities for hiking and photography with their scenic landscapes and distinctive geological features. Meknes Meknes, another of Morocco's imperial cities, offers a more quiet experience compared to Fez and Marrakesh. It's home to numerous historic sites, such as the Mausoleum of Moulay Ismail, the city's founder, and the Bab Mansur Gate, adorned with beautiful mosaic tiling. It also serves as a base for visiting the ancient Roman ruins of Volubilis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site as well. The city offers a rich cultural experience with its blend of architectural styles, historic sites, and nearby attractions. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Morocco? If not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.